Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Miss Nadia here, and I'm back again with another video. And today we doing a mukbang. I got some buffalo wild wings here, as you can see. I got some lemon pepper wings. I got some Jamaican jerk wings. I got some spicy garlic wings, and I got some honey barbecue wings. I believe. Wait, no, they blue moon barbecue wings. So let's see how what they hitting for. They're the boneless ones, the redder ones, the other ones are traditional. So let's just let's just jump right into it. I don't even know. I'm so hungry though, y'all. I don't even know what I'm gonna talk about. I tried to go on Instagram and ask y'all to give me like some topics, but I guess nobody wanted to help me. So we just gonna whatever. Like I'm so hyped. I'm so hungry. I've been craving their wings for a minute now too, and I'm hyped. But I did ask them to make them extra crispy, and they did not hold back on that. These things are real crispy. I got some ranch and some blue cheese on the side right here. I'm just so hyped. Oh, wait. I didn't do a thumbnail. I'm going to have to wait till I finish this one because I'm super hungry. So, y'all, I just want to know how is everything going with y'all with this coronavirus? Like, how are y'all self-quarantining? What are y'all doing? Did anybody learn a new skill yet? Whatever. All I want to say if, is if you're one of them people that's still out here working and all that, there's no reason you shouldn't have no savings when you get out of here because you can't spend your money on nothing. You've been working and just whatever for two, two months now, like... There's no reason you don't have any savings. No reason. Like, this is the perfect time to make a jump start on your savings, if you know what I mean. Like, but I think, especially if you got a stimulus check too, so that's $1,200 right there that you're going to save. But, yeah, now that I'm thinking about it, this video is going to be nothing but, like, talking about random things. Y'all. I was going to make it a story time, but I think I might save that for a later date. Just because. It's, it's crazy. This week, ooh, that was, this went crispy. I think I'm going to do a story time. Because I'm doing a seafood boil too. Also, y'all, pretty soon, one of these upcoming weeks... I am going to be doing it with, uh, for a whole week, Monday through Friday. Don't think it's Saturday to Sunday, but Monday through Friday. That's five videos right there, period. For a whole week straight, I'm going to be doing a video every day, at least one video every day. I'm posting a video every day just because. Why not? Because I'm going to have the time. So that's what we're going to be doing. And we're going to see how that go. See if you guys like that. So it's going to be like... Oh, let me do a thumbnail. So it's going to be like... Yeah. So, um, don't mind any background noise. I got people in my house and all that. <clears throat> but, yeah, so I've been working non-stop. Well, not non-stop, but I've been working non-stop. I had so much going on and so much coming for y'all. I just don't think y'all ready. Because I'm not even ready. But I don't think y'all ready. These wings are real life here at the spot. And I didn't eat all day. Nothing. The Jamaican jerk wings. I'm telling y'all, if y'all never had these, 
from Buffalo Wild Wings, this needs to be the time when you go get them. Because they are so good. This is so good. I'm about to see what this barbecue is tasting like. It actually tastes kind of regular. I don't taste nothing. I don't taste nothing different. I probably don't taste the same as the honey barbecue. They just be making up flavors at this point. It's cool though because it's good. Oh, let me tell y'all how. The other day, I needed to run to the store, so, and I needed to get a couple things that I wanted to cook. Was it when? I don't even know when I was cooking. I don't know if it's a video I made or what. But. I went to Walmart, right, y'all? So, that's hard. You got to get regional sauce because this is. Because these lemon pepper are low-key overcooked. But, I'm going to put some hot sauce on them. But, the other day. The other day I went to the store, right? And I went to Walmart. And I'm going to the store and I, and I was, it was bad enough that I had to sneeze because I'm not sick and I didn't want nobody to think I was sick or whatever. Or nobody to make no faces at me or anything. But I think I went down like the seasoning out and my nose just got itchy. And the sneeze came out of nowhere. So I sneezed, but mind y'all, I promise y'all, I had covered my mouth when I didn't sneeze. Like, I sneezed, but I covered it. I called it, covered it, whatever. It was over. So, I continued walking. Like, I sneezed, I called it, whatever, and all that. So, I continued walking. Next thing you know, this guy, mind you, I peeped his whole, his whole thing the whole time with the situation. Because <clears throat> I think I cleared my throat, and then I sneezed too. So, it was just like... And he was hype. So he walking past me with his cart. And he was like, the whole time, he like walked past and he like did one of these. Like he was just looking over his shoulder the whole time. And I'm like, if he don't go ahead. So he walked past me after I sneezed and all that. And he made like a face. But you, he had a mask on, but you could, you could tell, like you can tell when somebody makes some kind of face or something. So I'm like, oh, here he go. So he walked. He made the face. He continued walking. Then, then he turns around and was like, you know, and I knew at that instant I was going to be irked by whatever he said. So he turns around and was like, oh. He's like, you know, we should really sneeze like this because when you sneeze like this, Wait, I don't think y'all can hear me yet. He was like, you should really sneeze like this. Because sneezing like this, you really are getting the germs everywhere. Da, 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 da. It was going on and on. So I'm like, thank you. Because I don't need you telling me anything because I know how to sneeze. For one. And for two, I sneeze correctly. Like, it's not like I did that or sneeze in the air. Three, you got a mask on, so I'm not really affecting you. And four... Mind your business, because I sneeze the correct way. I don't need to say anything. And he was like, you know, I'm a doctor. I don't care what you are. I don't care if you was Trump. Would you? I'm like, what? Who are you talking to? I don't need you to tell me anything. Like, we got another thing coming. So, he walked off, of course, all mad. I don't care. Because... Worry about yourself. Just came, do what you came in here to do. Because it certainly wasn't talking to me. So, worry about yourself. 
And then this lady who was like caught in the crossfire, and she was like, <clears throat> like she just did this little snicker because everybody saw me cover my mouth. So it was just like you was minding my business at that point, basically, all in my face for you to know or not know that I didn't speak the right way. But all right. I'm so mad that this happened. And relax, because I'm at my house. So. But yeah, so that, like. That really did irk me, because I was just like, oh my God. Anybody know how to just shut up? Just shut up. You're wasting your breath. I don't even care what you're talking about. At all. Because it's irrelevant. But I let it go. And we both moved on. But. I was just like. So over it. I'm like. Shut up. Yo, you know, y'all, I don't know how to do that trick when people take the bones out of chicken and just eat it. I'm about to see if I can do that. But they only do it with a, um, a flat. If I know what I'm talking about. I'm going to see if I can do it. Yo, comment below what kind of person you are when it comes to eating chicken. Because <clears throat> I know for a fact I'm an all flats kind of girl. I'm really one of the people that will order all flats. I don't care how much extra it is. I'm ordering it. Oh, uh, well, that didn't work how I wanted it to work. That's cool. It's still, let me see. Okay, it's still might work. <clears throat> Not a piece of chicken, but. So then it's just like all that meat just to eat. I'm an all-flesh kind of person. Like, I feel like there's too much going on with the drum. I just don't like it. At all. All flats. All flat, fried hard, extra sauce. Period. My one friend, he'd be like, that is so weird. Like, how is it weird? What's weird about it? Because his sister says the same thing. How is it weird? He'd be like, y'all both just weird. You weird. Because you're not eating chicken. That's the best way to eat chicken. I the best way. But it's whatever. Because that's my opinion. And it's the best way. Hands down. I want to do the blazing wing challenge. I never even had them. Me and my best friend was supposed to do it when we was down in Florida, like a year ago, maybe. Maybe two years ago. I don't remember. But we had got the chi we had got the chicken and everything, and we just didn't do it. back to what we was talking about. Oh. So I'm going to discuss a couple things with y'all. Because I do get some questions. I get them on Instagram. Not really on here, but on Instagram. So 
I'm going to do a little business chit chat stuff with y'all in this video. So, for one, I'm just thinking of some questions that people be asking me. So, a lot of people ask me, like, how did I start my business? And I don't really know how to answer that because it's just like, I just went, I just did it. Like, I, first of all, I've been doing this same kind of business that I've been, like, my boutique, I've been doing, like, the same kind of thing for years. I changed the name maybe, like, four times. And... Every, it's just, it was just something different every time. Like, every time I changed the name, it was, I always did it differently because I was always learning stuff. So, every time, and it was almost like every year. So, every year, I, like, changed the name and did something differently because I learned something new about what to do and how to do it. So, like, I, I believe I stated this before, but I run my business through Shopify. <clears throat> and Shopify is $30 a month but I don't mind paying that because it's worth the $30 like Shopify handles everything like Shopify even handles keeping track of inventory <clears throat> oh, like everything is handled by Shopify first of all Fashion Over is ran by Shopify if you didn't know. <laughs> but yeah, so I like Shopify because I started, the first time I started it, I never did a Wix website, but the first time I started it, I did use, what is that called? I did use Big Cartel, but I don't know how I felt about it. Like, I would recommend it to people, but I just don't know how I felt about it. It's it's good for when people when you doing business. They do about the same thing. And somewhat they have better monthly affordable plans. But since nobody wants to start off paying thirty dollars a month for their thing, but they have one that's ten dollars a month. They have one that's free, but the, of course the free one doesn't offer that many like features that you can use. So, that is just not really going to help anybody as well. But, then, a lot of people ask me, like, oh, how, how did you make the website? Shopify literally has templates, like, all kinds of templates. And such. So, I started with one of the templates and it just went from there. Like, after I kept learning new things and all that. I just, like, I look, every time I learn something new, it's going to be something new about my business. I'm going to just say it like that because Every time I learn something new, I always, like, update my website. I always do this. I always do that. But, for real, for real, it's all about your marketing. It's all about your promotion, you promoting yourself. Like, I, I've been, I really just started doing Instagram promotions, and I love them. Like, people, re people really do find your page through Instagram promotions. And you can monitor it and alter it as much as you want. I like that because you can monitor it by where you want your audience or new customers to come from, all that. So it's just like, I think it's a good way. So you can make a budget based off how many days you want the promotion to be. So. So you can 
So if you have $20 and you want to promote your thing for five days, you can say you want to use $4 a day to do promotions. And I actually saw my promotions working on another Instagram page that I have. So on my personal page, I saw the promotion come up for it. Even though I already follow my business page, but it's still nice to see how it looks and see what people are looking at. So, I do like that. And I like that it shows how many people are coming from the promotion that don't even follow you. Y'all, I dog these wings. These were so good. They were, these wings were so good. But Instagram promotions are really, like, a good thing. And I think people should always have, like, build a team up. Build some, get some friends that's always there to promote your stuff. Make a friend, like, your brand ambassador. Give them, like, things here and there. Or a big discount so they can promote your stuff. Or, like, some of these people that got maybe, like, 10,000 followers. Like, they can make a big help. Especially if they're 10,000 followers or, like, real 10,000 followers. Like, make sure they real 10,000 10, followers. But, <clears throat> listen, it's all about your promoting and branding and marketing. And, like, you scare money, don't make no money. At all. So, you just got to be ready and down for it. You got to have belief and you got to have faith in your business. Because if you don't, it ain't going to work. Like, some of them people, you can just send them free stuff and they'll promote. Or others, you can, like, they actually have, like, some kind of fee and all that. But, it's all up to you. It's all up to your budget. It's all up to how much you want to spend. Me, personally, I've never sent anyone free things yet. I'm not opposed to it. I just never did. But, I do have maybe, like, two or three people that I'm sending stuff to, but... They have good following bases, and they actually have, like, onboard followers. Like, their followers are not just followers. They're not just popping people for no reason. So, you know? So, I feel as though in the long run, I'll be good. And it might actually bring me some kind of money. And it's not just me giving out free stuff for no reason. But this is my last wing. I ate like 16 wings. That's crazy. I think maybe like 12. I don't know. But not the point. They were actually really good. But yeah, I need y'all to like start letting me know what kind of videos y'all want to see. Like, I have ideas of my own, but let me know what you guys want to see so I can put out content for y'all. But like, I do these videos for y'all, for the fun of it and for y'all. So let me know. And I would be glad to do an actual full video on just how to start businesses and stuff like that. And I do have an ebook coming out. So. I'm going to put my two Instagrams in the description box so you guys can follow them and you guys can stay in touch and stay tuned to when these ebooks are dropping and all this stuff. I have ebooks coming, I have regular books coming, I have a vendor list coming for y'all. So, actually, one of the ebooks might actually just be in the description box, like the way for you to purchase it. So, my bad, y'all. I'm back, but I had a phone call, but. One of the ebooks might actually be able, you might actually be able to hit it in the description. Like, it's going to be on a regular website where you shop for the boutique. So, you guys also need to do that. Like, we have some nice stuff. We just, y'all just missed the sale where everything was 25% off. But we do have a sale going on right now. And I don't even know what I'm going to end it. So, it's just going on. 
Because I never put an end date in it. Just when I felt like it, you know? So, that sale is going to be, well, that sale is going on. And I have $5 lashes and I have $5 shades. So, sunglasses and lashes are $5. And I feel like you just can't beat that. So, you guys need to tune in. Ow. I just bit my tongue. So, you guys need to hop on that. Because they're not going to, like, it's only to like few. And the stock is shortening and it's very limited. So, hop on that as soon as possible and all that. But, I'm pretty much done. This video is wrapped up. I'm going to have a better topic to talk about next time because especially because it's a story time. So, I'm full. It's over. So, I'm just going to head out. But, thank you guys for watching so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to try these flavors out. And don't forget to shop with me and follow me on Instagram. Connect with me. DM me. Email me. Whatever. Thank, thank you guys for watching. Bye. <laughs>